Yo, how's it going guys? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day as well. For today's Blender tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the best Octane render settings to use in Blender. We're going to have two sections to this. So the first one is going to be the overall settings that you use within Octane. Now I forgot to mention if this video does get 100 likes on this video then I'm going to include a secret download for you guys to have for the Octane as well settings that I use and of course maybe a scene involved that you guys would like to use in your own scenes or anything like that. I'm going to add it as well if this video does get 100 likes. I appreciate all your support. Hopefully I'll be making some more tutorials soon and as well let's get back to the video. And the second thing if you watch my Fortnite Blender as well like tutorials and stuff for that that you use blender for as well as thumbnails i'm going to go over in more depth after as well five minutes or so look at the timestamp and stuff and you'll see when we go into depth with that so you're going to be learning different things that you need to know on how to make better fortnite thumbnails but starting it off you need to install blender itself and of course the octane server itself so go to the link below and there should be a link there sending you to the website that way you get blender from and of course octane so this is going to be for free obviously very good for that so of course if you want to do is download this one here if you're on windows and of course whatever ones that you are on but as well for me i'm on windows so you download these two and as well obviously you just gotta wait for it to come down the bottom and of course you're gonna have the server that i already have downloaded there now when you've got them installed what i do is just drag them to your desktop and there you know where they are so as soon as you've got them too, you've got the Octane server and of course Blender. Obviously, I'm pretty sure you know how to as well install these. So you're just going to click on it, press yes when it's set like to tell you to confirm it. And you install it to your C drive or whatever drive you want it to. And of course, you just go through this uh, everything like that. So once you have Blender installed and of course the Octane server, you're going to open it up and it's going to look something like this. So now if we go to the properties here on the right, you're going to see that we don't have Octane there at all. So to change that, if you go to edit in the top left and go to preference, then go to add-ons, you're going to actually see if you go to Octane, then you're going to see down the bottom or where if you type the whole name, you're going to see that is unchecked. So if you just tick that box, then as well, if you go back to the render engine, you're going to see it at the bottom there. So when we click that, you're going to see that pretty much nothing happens as well. We need to add lighting to do a bit of change. So to add the settings that I'm going to do first, we're going to go from the type and from direct uh, light, we're going to go to pay for trace or path trace, sorry. So now that's done, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of this, go to color management from filmic, from the view transform we're actually going to change that to as well raw now that's the settings of that done we're going to add a bit of lighting here that i usually prefer so just open up this and we're going to go to a shader editor go from object of course to world so that's going to be our you could say hdr but as well octane environment lighting so as well for this first bit we're going to type in daylight so we're going to uh, oops uh, connect that to as well octane environment so now if we go to the octane you can actually see here that we have our lighting i'm actually going to delete the light here so it doesn't get in the way we're going to keep our camera because if we remove it you're going to see that then we can't really see it's just our cube of light how it was when we had the camera so make sure if you want to add a camera go to add and go down here to camera and you can actually see a full render view so of course make sure you always have a camera for when you have octane open so for now what we're going to do when we have that all connected our daylight we're going to add another thing or shift a whatever you like to do and then go to sun direction so what this is going to do when you connect it up this way you can actually kind of direct of where the sun is coming from or as well if you want a sunset and also you can change the color of like the sun so you can make it more like a red or blue whatever color you want the sun to be or the lighting of course so that's what it is hopefully this has helped so far i've gone over most of the settings that you guys need to know about octane if you want to make the background transparent then of course you go up to alpha channel and as well go to alpha channel and you've got rid of the background in the as well full render when you do that so another thing that you can go over as well if you go to the little uh, piece that's a bit hidden there's got an arrow so then you can go down to octane you can just add a few things like color corrections and stuff when you click overview it's going to as well 
actually go into your camera you can actually see the changes if you have an environment or something in there that has more color than just a, like white or something so of course the exposure you can up that the grammar whatever else that you need to add but well, another thing that i like to do is actually enable the noising so that's going to reduce the amount of noise that of when you complete your full render helps out a lot i always check it all the time so i don't really change the settings of this but you always can do as well if you want to have less noise and as well maybe smoother when you have your full render so that's that i keep it the same so there's probably a few more settings in there that you can actually as well apply but to be honest i don't know what else i would really apply so when you've done that you go to octane so this bit here you you can do this if you like it's just going to be like as well bloom and of course like rays and stuff like that a bit all types of things that you could change with this you can really change it up but i don't use that very often it's only in certain pieces so hopefully that has helped you out that is the octane settings that i use as well i'm going to be leaving as well a file down below for the settings and stuff that i use in my thumbnails if you guys would like to like use that for the people that use octane and stuff for thumbnails so the next part that we're going to go over is how to actually get fortnite as well thumbnails in octane so for this if you go to the link below in the description you're actually going to see this link that goes to ed and as well he's got this download as well that way you can get as well the octane shader so when you have the octane render or shader installed you're actually going to just drag it to your desktop as well you can open it but as well for myself when you have your own file you have all your fortnite stuff that you need so you're going to need to add the shader so so what i'm going to do here is just append a skin that i haven't got the textures as well done or like i haven't done the textures for octane just yet so so for this i'm just going to grab a random one let's just go with the normal jonesy so if we open up that of course append it in now you're going to see what i mean of when uh, the textures aren't in pro or done properly and as well it just doesn't look right so as you can see here that there's no textures on this skin and the reason for that because we're actually using a just standard as well uh, fortnite shader for this we need a octane shader so so what you're going to do is actually open up so you go to append and go to your desktop where it was go to as well the octane shader go to no tree and then as well you're going to take the octane standards that's what i recommend and for this you just type in octane and there you go so now just sort of plug that in this is going to be for the material of the body so we can't just connect these up because obviously it's just the same texture we need to convert it to an octane so there we go now you see the difference all i did was just click on the little as well text uh, the image there and then you just connect them up so there we go do the same with all the textures and a few things that you need to know as well with the s and the n just the, these two textures you're going to change the gamma on both of them to one and as well make sure that they are both on no, uh, non-color data as well if they're just on their normal make sure you change the s and the n to as well non-color data so now when we go back into octane as well view we're going to see that the body is now have the octane texture on it that looks really clean love the look of octane so clean overall so now if you like you can carry on do the head and everything i'm going to leave as well this file down below as well for you guys to download it if we get 100 likes so hopefully this tutorial has helped make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you're new to the channel please subscribe leave a comment down below of what tutorial you would like to see next and i'll see you in the next video